Hi everybody, this is Lucas with Carlo Precision. Uh, today what I'll do is mm, I will show you how you can um, combine an old project with a new project uh, while exporting into an existing uh, Revit project and maintaining the same geometry. Uh, it is a problem that seems to come up a lot so I decided to make a video on this thing. So uh, let me just start scene over here. I have two projects that I already finished. Uh, let's just look at the boiler house, for example. All right, the boiler house is finished within itself. It's a small project, but again, for the uh, purposes of the video, this is uh, plenty. So if you look at the project itself, it has a certain rotation. It's got a certain location. You can see that it's a uh, there's a transformation applied to the project itself because this is a transformation that matches my model uh, in uh, Revit or in CAD or Navisworks. It really doesn't matter. But again, this is these are the values that I pulled out of it and uh, that allow me to correlate my actual model um, with a scan over here. So this is a finished project. Let's say a couple of years weeks months later i'll go back and i do the exterior of the same project so i'll go and again by itself uh, these are not the same scans that we had in the boiler house these are completely separate scans completely different day completely different uh, setup but we'll see that these are you know the actual street or the road around the actual boiler house uh, once again We'll kind of look at it top down. Uh, this is a completely different transformation. You can see this is these are negative numbers over here. If you look at the actual transformation, it says zero 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 over here. But at the end of the day, we'd like to combine this project with the other project, and because we already utilized, and this is where I'll uh, open up recap, because we already and forgive me it opened up on the adjacent screen here but because we already used uh, the boiler house by itself i already have a project started in recap that is inheriting the same geometry and you can see the coordinates are 1000 2000 by 3000 in the corner over here so this is the original reference project that i need to match the new newly created exterior project into so how you go about doing that is well, let me just minimize recap close this is how i go about this so i'll open my previously reference that's why i called it my reference so this is my boiler house reference project again just verify that everything looks correct everything seems to be in the right rotation and I have the same correct transformation going on over here so first thing that I want to do is I want to make a note of what these numbers are uh, seen when you're bringing in scans will not impact your transformation but because we will not be importing scans we will be importing a whole project now there's going to be a clash between uh, this project's transformation and the transformation from the project that you're importing so you will see upon import these values that we already have meticulously uh, you know modeled with and have spent time on figuring out will go away and that could cause a problem these values just as the XYZ position and the rotation values are something that I would maybe make a screenshot of or write them down on a piece of paper over here my rotation is easy so I'm not going to record that but I remember will remember these values uh, before I do anything so first step I do is I'll go into import and I'll import projects and I will find the other project that is the chiller exterior that's finished so when I hit open what scene does brings in uh, and now this is my original project this is the new project that I brought in so if we now kind of look at our project in a combined 
view, you'll notice that they're separate. Again, they are correct to themselves, but they're not correct to what we're about to uh, try to combine in recap. So, in order to combine these two, uh, because we have uh, target-based registration, I'll just make a new cluster, call it combined. And now I'll move each one of these clusters into the master cluster. Now notice that there's a little blue dot, and there's no blue dot inside my little X here that signifies that this is going to be my reference cluster. Needless to say, you can actually change the reference. What the reference cluster does to you is it will merge the other, however many you have here, to it. So it'll become the anchor, or as it's called, a reference uh, for the other scans or clusters to merge into. So if I don't like it and I need to make my, my this base so that the, the, the actual uh, boiler itself rotates into here or vice versa. If I make this piece uh, my reference, uh, the outside will actually then rotate into it without actually messing with the transformation and messing with the uh, location of the original. So uh, I'm investigating the exterior. If I did change it to a reference cluster, it'll ask me to do it, but you see that it's actually moving the little blue dot. I didn't want to do that, so we'll uncheck this and we will recheck our boiler as our reference okay now just to show you the transformation is gone so our transformation is not working right now if I hit the OK button and just do a regular registration as if I didn't notice we will do, this is a target-based registration, we'll hit register and verify. You will notice that the actual street comes in and hugs the inside of my project or the boiler house here. So if we look at it top down now, you see that the, ro the street that was previously over here kind of rotates in. And my problem is, if I don't remember uh, that I need to uh, apply my previous transformation because I think or was mm, confident that everything was working properly, I would have not noticed that the transformation changed to 000. Now, because I know that it actually changed, I'll hit put in my transformation once again, hit apply or OK in this case. Now I am in the right uh, location. So if I was to export um, this cluster right now as its own subset of scans into Recap, it would not work until I actually hit the Save button. So even though it actually shows in the right uh, location, let me do a demonstration. Let's just take a scan out and we will export it as ordered. And we'll give it a name. Call it Crozier 002. Hit save, export. Now if I go into recap and I try to import the same scan that I just created, Remember in recap, you kind of don't want to do the filters, but we'll do the minimal filters here and skip registration because registration would have been already done in scene. But if you we wait here for a little while until it indexes and imports our um, 002 scan, you will see that even though in scene it is working, it is going to be broken in recap.
when everything's finished and imported, you'll notice that it imports in the wrong location. So our boiler house, which we were trying to merge to, even though scene looks like it's working, but in recap, you see that it actually didn't understand and they're completely off. That's exactly why. The reason behind that is that when you go in scene and you're going to actually check the values of the transformation, they are here, which means we're happy. We just didn't hit the save button. So well, let me make sure that I can do that. So I'll hit applied apply the transformation. This way my changes in the file stick. And once it's all saved, I will proceed. And again, I'm just grabbing one scan, but you can grab all of them. Of course, you can grab the whole cluster and export all of it uh, as ordered scans. FLSs are my, my go-to um, for bringing into recap. But for the demonstration, once again, I'll grab this file and I'll export it as ordered. We'll give it a new name just so that we can distinguish between the two. We'll call it new. Hit export. Now in recap, I will get rid of the scan that didn't work. So uh, I believe it's this one. Yes, it is, which means we'll delete it. And now let's come in and re-import the newly created file. And once again, just wait till it indexes and uh, imports the file into it, but it should now open in the right location. All right, uh, let's see where the file went. So already I can see that there's the origin. But if I do top to down view, and now I check out which one was my last log, uh, last uh, imported file, it's the outside, and it is referencing an imperfect reference to the original, which was the boiler house itself, with those with that transformation of 1,000 by 2,000 by 3,000 meters. So now I can hit the save button. Of course, I can import the other scans. Of course, but for the sake of the video, I will uh, stop here. But uh, this just shows you that uh, when you're trying to merge two different projects, even though they're within themselves correct, locked, and happy, and you think that you finished and actually applied the transformation properly to the whole project before you even started importing the other one, it resets it. And if you don't notice that it resets it, uh, inputting it without saving it is not going to actually uh, make those changes stick. But uh, once again, most important, have the one cluster that you want uh, marked as a reference cluster. So make sure that that's checked. And then the other should fall into place properly. And once you're happy with the registration, that's when you will go ahead and actually uh, look at your properties over here. And if they're not there, just apply everything, apply the rotation angles also. And once they're applied, just hit save. And right after that, that's when you want to go into uh, exporting not the whole project but because this is just a subset of some scans just do scans ordered and then import those scans into recap and not have to redo the whole project from the beginning and at the same time 
have it keep the original coordinates of the original project. All right. I hope this was a helpful video. I will uh, put my little notes in the in the comments below, just so that you have a step by step uh, walkthrough. But otherwise, uh, any questions, comments, uh, leave them below, and I'll see you in the next video.